The name holds a story, a message of inspiration and empowerment. As a child, I constantly faced the need to prove myself. No matter which sport I pursued, but then I discovered cycling. It became my answer to skeptics who doubted my abilities. More than just freedom, cycling became my pursuit of justice in the face of those who wished me to fail. So when you encounter seamlessly insurmountable obstacles, remember, just say it with your legs. With every pedal, you can conquer anything, one step at a time. And that's why you need to buy this brand. To embrace the journey, empower yourself, and achieve greatness. like button subscribe to the channel thanks we got lots of stuff coming up she said she tried an e-cargo bike but traffic drove me off the road um that's so weird i, I have a mix mixed reactions about this because it's something i've been looking into i, I want to get a, a e-bike e, e an e-cargo bike as well and the main reason is because like one to do grocery shopping and the other is like when i to go get my stuff like when i go to um the hardware store if i if i need to get timber or tools or carry tools or carry supplies because i've been doing a little bit of a uh, house maintenance on the side and stuff so um it seems like it will fit me perfect but her whole, her whole point was that it wasn't very nimble in uh certain places like like here in the uk she she basically got it because obviously her and her husband need to do the school run and she actually got rid of the e-bikes and got like some hybrid bikes instead so what she what she says makes sense though because i can see the hybrid bikes being a, a lot more nimble like on certain off-road situations and then it's also like she said she was having problems parking the bike because it's heavy you know getting it on the stand and stuff and i don't see as that would have been a problem to myself um if, if it's something that i want i usually you know embrace it and stuff but she's she's you know so i'm just wondering are there more people out there that uh ha have issues with like stuff like this with uh the cargo bikes so you know what's your what's your idea of the cargo bike do you do you love it do you hate it do, is it something that you um if you uh, got, got a chance to to use, like if you have kids, would you rather the kids? Um, yeah, would 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 you rather the kids? Uh, where are we to? Yeah, so would you rather the kids on the back of your e-bike, on the back of a hybrid, or in the car in traffic, sitting in traffic, you know, looking at an iPad and stuff? So this is much healthier healthy ish er, <laughs> because you still got to deal with like the vehicle uh the, you know combustion of the vehicles and stuff and people driving and visiting of course you and stuff and sh she just said it just wasn't like the main reason it just sounded like the like it wasn't nimble enough so but you know like i i would like to you know hear what what you think you know does it make a big deal to you that would you stay on the road? Would you go off road? Because uh, she said she, you know, like did like to get away from traffic. You know, she'd ride through uh, like little areas, and I can see, <coughs> excuse me, I can see certain areas where maybe you know where they have the bike paths or the paths for just walking, and they have the bollards up so that you know like certain vehicles can't fit through. So then you, it'd probably be hard to fit like uh, s you know through certain certain areas and and if i'm correct like because i know when i'm uh if i go riding through the hills through the like the uh country hills and 
most of these places have cattle and stuff roaming around and they have the, the gates and stuff so that you can pass through them and walk through and whatnot until you can pass through the fields because there are paths that people use and whatnot but the gates that they use to like open and allow stuff in with a regular bike it's not that big a deal like you could fit the regular bike through that but i can see with the big long e-bike that's going to be a problem so if she was like in an area like that where she was using quite a bit of stuff like that then yeah i can see see how like it, it, it's circumstances it's definitely circumstances is where you're at and how things you know work for you so you, you if if it's if it's not going to be suitable uh for where you're riding your bike you know you got to make sure you think about it make sure it's con you know conducive to what you what you your, your lifestyle but for me i'm just like man i i'm looking forward to actually getting an e-bike and i was even thinking the crazy thing that if if i had the cargo bike i could probably use a cargo bike instead of a car to follow the races uh in europe next year but at the same time i'm thinking no because when the weather comes and the weather hits you you really unless you can find somewhere to to get out of the you know weather and stuff it's going to be hard to be you know keep warm and stuff so I was like, mm, that would be really cool. It would be a good way to advertise and everything. But uh, I don't think I can do do the trip across Europe on the cargo bike. Maybe in the summertime. But the weather's been getting so weird here in Europe and stuff. You don't know what type of weather you're going to get. Like, it's going to be really wet. It's going to be a little bit cool. So it's, it's, been, it's been getting sort of been un unpredictable. Excuse me. <clears throat> so anyway, that's about it. That's where we at. We had uh, 45 minutes. That gives me a good bit of stuff to chop up. And I hope you enjoyed that. That's all I got for you today. But like I said, we definitely got to get into um, this guy. <laughs> uh, let me let me pull up the title again. It says, Top 10 Reason Bicycle Mechanics Are Such Assholes. Top 10 Reasons. I could give you about 100 you know so we we are who we are we love what we do we really love what we do and we love sharing what we do with you but we do have our limits <laughs> we do have our limits we love you we love you to death so anyway like i said earlier make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel thanks for tuning in thanks for joining i appreciate you and i will see you next friday you'll probably see me later on the weekend so let's get into this and uh I'm going to leave you with me and my man, Bahati, as we uh, ride off into the sunset in uh, L.A., in, in Southern California. Peace out. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Love you. See you soon. Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.